Okay, I'm here with Justin Conyers, second year head football coach of the Nance, whatever Warriors. They got war and they're ready for this coming season. Uh, coach, you're two free at the helm. Uh, how's it feel? There's a lot of buzz about uh, Warrior football going into this year. Um, we, we were seven and three last year. We're just trying to keep that momentum going and hopefully take another step. At the very least, we want to go eight and two. I, our goal this year is to win the district and then go on to regional regional championship. I'm sure like everybody else, we just got to keep putting the work in. Yeah. In watching you, the little bit I saw here tonight, hey! seeing you and the knowing from your background and some of the coaches on your staff and so forth, physical is what you want to be, a physical oh, brand of football. And hearing some of the hitting going around and some of the pop, it sounds like you're on the path to getting there if you're not all the way there. Yes. Uh, we're always going to be a physical team. That's, that's one thing I'm proud of. Um, our kids do an excellent job during the offseason. We have great numbers during the offseason. So we're going to get physical. We just want to try, try to pass the ball a little more this year. I'm um, just trying to be more diverse this year. I mean, it's kind of held us back. Um, we got two freshman quarterbacks battling it out. We have a, a, a senior and a junior. We got four quarterbacks battling it out. Hopefully one emerge that can help us, you know, throw the ball a little more this year. Would you not be afraid of putting a ninth grader in there? No, not at all. If they're ready, they're ready. Okay. That's kind of our mantra. We're going to put the best players on the play. Going back to your days as a player at Western Branch, and you got Lou Johnson here with you, former uh, great coach who's an assistant with you. The Delaware wing team, you guys are going to pound that rock. It looks like you have a myriad of backs that can do it. Tell us about some of those running backs in the mix. Um, we have Brent Stratton that came up from Western Branch. He's, he's very explosive. Remind me of Kevin Johnson. We got Xavier Evans. Uh, Came up from D Creek. Uh, he's, he's a game breaker player, he, right? He's amazing. Yeah. I mean, almost every time he touched the ball, he scored or, or had over 20 plus yards. Um, we kind of shut him down at the end. And he, he's doing excellent for us. We have Josh Knight returning. He's a senior, been in our program since seventh grade. He's looking good at our tailback. We got uh, Elijah Askew returning back. He was with us his ninth and 10th grade year. He came back. He's looking good at fullback for us. We have Cam Cuffey at wing back, Taylor Williams. Um, uh, your depth is good there. Right? Yeah, we have we have plenty of other guys. Uh, we got a lot of guys. I'm, I'm starting to forget their names, but we have a lot of great kids. I, I mean, Suffolk has done a great job of letting us play football in the spring. So we've coached these kids, and the majority of the kids since they've been in seventh grade. We got Raheem Randall. Um, so it's, it's fun to see the kids from seventh grade to now, and we got a lot of guys that we know we can depend on. Those that you forgot about, just make sure you get 100 yards of touchdown. He won't forget about you again. Uh, <laughs> look at the skill positions. Um, you got some guys doubling out wide, too, from looking yep. at the places uh, we, we got Monte Jones, who's looking real good. Marlon Sellers, uh, Nakeese Rogers, Wayne Cochran, Jaquan Stringer. Uh, um, we have Patrick. Gerard's little brother? Gerard's little brother, okay. yes. He's a junior. He, he got an injury last year, so he missed the whole season last year. But we're looking for big things from him. We got Patrick Batiste. Um, he coming off an injury, too. Real big body, real big frame. But definitely a D1 type of kid that we're looking for him a lot of from him as well. I think the line of scrimmage, your O-line, D-line are going to be a strength. And Crip with 58 tonight, was that Rashawn Washington? Rashawn Washington. He really impressed me watching Rashawn him. Washington did a great job. Um, we had Desmond Lee who didn't participate today. Okay. We had a situation with his helmet. I mean, nothing, nothing's wrong with him, but 6'5", 320 pounds. He's got college uh, potentials. Yeah, oh, definitely. We got Peyton, Peyton Payne coming back. Been starting since a freshman year. Um, um, we call him Bull, Elijah. Uh, um, Josiah Archery uh -huh. um, at guard, and then we have two kids down out, Jesse Osbar, who plays since seventh grade, and Keyshawn Lewis, who's a rising sophomore that's been doing pretty good for us. Come on, let's run. You know, that, that's the thing, though, hitting on Archery and Washington, some of those names, Payne, that have yes. been on that region championship team. Definitely. How much is those, are those guys vocal leaders, too, for Oh, my or? gosh, they've been amazing. Um, um, we're trying to get everybody to catch up to them now, mm -hmm. and that's kind of been the thing. We've got to tell them to relax, focus on themselves. We'll, we'll help the other guys catch up, so they're getting a little impatient um, because, again, we're, I got to tell the kids, we're in next Negative, negative day three. Uh, <laughs> season will start to August 1st, so uh, we had a bad first session. It was real bad. Um, but when we got against other competition, we picked it up. So all we want to see is progress, which we've been doing. It's, it's rough having two two freshman quarterbacks leading it right now for the battle. It's, it's real rough. They got to catch up. they only been with us for a couple months. So um, we just got to be patient, um, let one emerge, and we'll, we should have a good quarterback for the next four years, whichever one wins the battle. <laughs> when the ingredients are around them. Yes. I saw a former Warrior stand out, a uh, two-sport athlete stand out, Marvin Branch, played it over to you on the sideline. We were yes. both talking about, boy, Elijah Askew at linebacker, he really looks the part of a big time. Oh, my God. He looked like, he looked like a college kid. Uh, oh, man. I mean, yes. Um, he played tight end, also a fullback. That's going to be interesting to see somebody. I mean, he's every bit of 252 pounds. Um, Marvin Branch. Actually, little brother, um, Branch is back. He, yeah. he hurt, got hurt last year as a sophomore as well. Um, he's been doing good for us in secondary. We, we have a lot of talent. We just got to find the right rhythm, the right pieces, and just put it all together. Well, your pass rush could certainly last two let you go. Um, 
the strength of this team. I mean, Keontae Cobb on the outside had how many sacks last year? He had about a 20, 23. Goodness. I mean, he's a they got a, they can't block all those guys. No, our front four was our front six. We have four regional regional guys returning from our front six. So we front seven. So we have a great front seven. Keontae Cobb, Peyton Payne, Josiah Archie, Rashawn Washington. And then we got a couple young guys coming off the bench. And then we have Josh Knight been in our program for um, since seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And we got um, Elijah Askew. I mean, we can't ask for a better front. And then also, um, uh, Xavier Evans played linebacker too. He's done great for Deep Creek for the last few years at linebacker. So uh, we, we have good pieces. Again, our problem is finding that rhythm, finding that, that core group that gel best together. And that's going to be our biggest our biggest obstacle this year. Well, lastly, as you look at the district in Class 5, big picture, I mean, there's no secret. No Holland Springs is the big dog. Mm -hmm. We know there's some other good teams in the region with Maury and Indian River, who's in your district, and Salem and so forth. But I feel like you've got that experience and camaraderie. Last year you jumped into year one as the head coach. You were familiar with the program, but now do they have a better feel for you and you for them as well? Or? Yes. Uh, coach Huckley did a good job, so it's, it's nothing I really had to change necessarily. Okay. It's just every person got their own personality, so just trying to get the team to take on my personality. I think we did a good job. If you look at regular season record, we took a step up from 6-4 and four to 7-3. and three. We didn't get to the promised land like we wanted, but we played a really good Indian River team last year. So, I mean, we had three losses in the regular season. They had a combined record of 28-2, and two. so you couldn't ask for yeah. Uh, better, I mean, and we was kind of competitive in that Moore game, um, but we did a way better job of playing Indian River the second time. It didn't go in our favor, but I mean, they had a hot hand last year and took Moore, so um, we just want to keep getting better. Now we, we're kind of in that conversation. When, we, when you hit a Southeast District, you want to thank, we want people to think of Nazareth River, like to think of Oscar Smith and Indian River. Sure. Well, it should be some exciting nights at Arrowhead Stadium. Thank you so much. We'll be watching you. Yep, thank you.